Welcome to Integrating Social APIs for iOS. I'm Keith Welch, and I'll be your instructor for this course. Social networking apps that provide users interconnectivity are a major market player at this point. That applies not only to apps that have social networking as their primary purpose, but also other kinds of apps. For example, you may have an e-commerce app, and you might want to provide the ability for your users to tweet or post to Facebook about how great your product is iOS provides APIs for integration with the major social networks. There are multiple APIs, and they have a trade-off with complexity versus features. So the more features and more things that you can do, the more complex the APIs are. The social networks themselves, like Facebook, also have their own APIs. In this course, we'll review some options, and we'll demonstrate them as well and build up some little apps that show you how they work. So the topics for this course, We'll first talk about the options that you have for social integration using the iOS API and Facebook's API as well, and we'll see what those trade-offs look like. We'll create some social networking apps using the different options. We'll first demonstrate a very simple option for social integration that posts to either Twitter or Facebook and allows the user to choose which. Then we'll take a look at the SL Compose View Controller, which also allows posting to Twitter or Facebook but is a little bit more refined in the interface that it presents the user. Then we'll take a look at the SL Request API. That provides a lot more power. It allows you to post or read to Twitter or Facebook, and it uses HTTP web requests. And then finally, we'll take a look at the Facebook SDK, which opens up all sorts of things that you can do with Facebook. So that's the course in a nutshell, so let's get to it. 